Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, Shaykh. How can I find contentment in life? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. You want to find contentment in life? Learn from those who want to have contentment. Be with the Salihin. This is Ayat al Karima. This is an order. You cannot learn contentment from reading books, watching videos, even sitting down and thinking by yourself. You cannot. Because contentment, satisfaction, eh? how you say in Arab, Arabic? Huh? Eh? Suz, go to sleep. <laughs> He's talking about coffee. <laughs> Allah bi zikrullah ta'ama in kulub. You want your heart to have satisfaction? Only in the remembrance of Allah can your heart find satisfaction. If you want satisfaction, you want contentment, be with those ones who have contentment. Learn from them. Okay? What does that mean? Learning from someone, especially a skill, even if it is dunya, you have to sit and study with them for some time. Now, this contentment is a very big spiritual skill. You cannot know what contentment is just by asking a question and me giving you a three-minute answer. I can show you the way, but you have to walk the way. You have to hold on to people who are good in the way. And you have to learn. You cannot jump ship. You cannot move away. You cannot stray. You have to hold on. You want contentment. Be with the people who are content. That they have fought against themselves and they reach to the level where they have forced their ego. They have stepped on their ego. Nafsu mutmain. The content ego. Be with them. Learn from them. Serve them. Take orders from them. Be in muhabbat with them. Then you will learn the skills also in how to be content. Maybe they will say 1,000 words to you. Maybe they'll say one word to you. It is not in the words. It is you observing and taking and absorbing and for your heart to be open. You can be with them, but if your heart is not open, you learn nothing. You will learn nothing. Physically you are there, but your heart is not with them. You learn nothing. And don't look to them. This one, contentment. Don't criticize them. Don't look with bad eyes to them. Don't say, well, how can this be like this, like this? No, no. If the Order is saying, go to this one, go to this one. Learn what is for you. Everything else, leave behind. So many times, people coming here, they have anger issues, or this, or this, chef. And he says, go to the barn. Go to the barn and work, and be with Haji Bilal. They're being with him. You're supposed to learn. That is also a test. They say, but... He's doing this, this, this is wrong. It's not for you to judge. What has that, all of that to do with anger management? Nothing. Maybe he feeds too much to the ducks. Maybe he feeds too little. Maybe he... Doesn't matter. There's nothing to do with you. So that, you must also have the intelligence. What is for me, what is not for me? Because he's supposed to be busy with what concerns you. Are those other things it doesn't concern you. People say... Oh, he's saying for me to follow, but if so many wrong things, that's there, it's not for you to see. It does not concern you. The right things, have you took, taken from him? Have you mastered it? Have you lived it? Have you tasted it? Have you taught it? Have you spread it? No. Then why are you busy with him, with those other things? Why? Is that your job? That is the job of the teacher. This is when it gets too mixed up now. You think you're a teacher. Don't. It is not your responsibility, otherwise you're going to carry the burden. So, 
be with the contented ones. Ask and learn. Don't fight them. Don't argue with them. Learn from them. Assalamu alaikum.